In this video, let us see how we can convert a st restricted user in HANA database to a standard user and a standard user to a restricted user. Uh, with SAP HANA database 2.0, SAP introduced a new feature where you can do the conversions of a restricted user to standard users and standard users to restricted users. Now with a restricted user the issue is that it is you cannot use the restricted user number one to log into your HANA database system as a stand like a standard user. Okay. Second thing is you the restricted user cannot create objects uh, in the database as they are not authorized to create objects in their own schema. What that means is when you say for example when you create a standard user a schema with the same user ID is also created by default so that the user can create objects within the database uh, within his own schema by default. Okay, So that doesn't happen with restricted user IDs. Okay, so restricted user IDs do not have their own schemas. Okay, so that is why, but they cannot create, or they are not authorized to create objects in their own schema. Okay. The second difference between uh, standard user ID and the restricted user ID is that when you create a standard user ID, the standard user can view any data in the database because a public role is assigned to the user by default when at the time of creation of the user user ID. But in case of restricted user IDs, that public role is uh, not assigned. Okay, so that is why uh, the user cannot, that user ID cannot be used to view data in the database. And also the public role cannot be assigned uh, or granted to that restricted user. Okay, we will see that. Uh, so in that case, the restricted user can only be used to connect to the database using HTTP protocol. Okay, and in case uh, the restricted user needs to connecting to ODBC or a JDBC, then that user ID would require a standard role for a JDBC or ODBD, ODBC as the case may be. So let us now create a restricted user. So you go to users and then right click on users node and click on new restricted user. Okay, so you get the box for I'm saying a restrict okay and then I'm going to give a password Now if you see by default the public role is not assigned uh, to this user ID and then if you look at the object privileges even the schema of the user is not created. Okay. So let's go and now let us go and see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to try as assigning the public role. Okay. And try to save it. Now when I try to deploy it, the user ID is created with warnings, okay? But if you see here, it cannot be granted role public because you are not authorized to do the perform the actions. Even though I am logged in with system user ID, I cannot do it. What it means is for a restrictive user, you cannot assign the public role, okay? That is one of the features of the restricted users. So let's remove this. Okay. To close this. Okay. So I, because I cannot. So the user ID is already created. Right. So it's created. 
but automatically if you see uh, even ODBC and GDBC access are disabled. So you can, so one thing you cannot, the user ID cannot be used to log in to the HANA database. And then even the G ODBC, GDBC access is disabled. So it, the only way this user ID can be used is to access or connect it to the database using HTTP. Okay, now let's try to log in uh, with the, uh, let us add, try to add whether see if we can able to add login with this user id or not okay so i say a restrict user okay and then i'll give the password okay and say finish so i you cannot create you know use you know the user id to login okay now how do we now let's see how do we convert this into uh, a standard user okay the restricted id to a standard user so for that you need to execute three sql commands so let's go and open the sql console uh, so select the system the topmost node and click on open sql console okay let's go and open the sql console the first statement that you need to do is to assign the public role to that user okay so let's see alter user the user id okay uh, restrict user grant Now let's go and execute this. Okay, alter user restrict user grant public. Okay, that's been executed successfully, right? All right, now the next step is to allow this user to create objects in the database by assigning its own schema okay so grant create any on own schema so we're going to see what what happened when you do what this statement will do okay so click on execute now if you go and see what happens here right let's refresh this so the public role is assigned because of the first statement okay and this with that second statement a schema with the same user that create create any okay privilege is also created and assigned to that user id okay however you see the disable odbc jdbc is still disabled right so which means you, the user still cannot uh, log into the system as a standard user so the process is not complete yet of conversion so the third statement that you would need to execute is alter user client Okay, 
okay so client connect doesn't seem right so okay this is enable enable client connect okay so let's see what happens with this so this is the first third step so execute it alter user restricted client connect okay so let's see what happens in the screen here with the user id so just let me refresh it you see disabled odbc jdbc access is now gone so so you assigned the grant public role then you altered the user using the alter statement to let the user create objects within its uh, own schema and then you disable uh, you enable the odbc jdbc access okay now let us go and try to log in with the user id now okay so a restrict user and give a password and let's see if it connects see now you are able to connect right so what you have done now is you have successfully converted a restricted user a user id that was created as a restricted user to a standard user okay and to do that you first need to assign using the alter user statement you need to first assign the public role to the user id then you need to grant the privilege to create any on its own schema so in when you do that a schema is created with this user id and assigned in the op as an object privilege okay and then you also need to as allow the user to connect using jdbc and odbc so that's why you know for that you have to enable you use the alter state user command statement to with enable client connect so these are the three steps that you need to convert a user to a, a restricted user to a standard user so i'm going to log off and i'm going to remove this okay okay now how do you convert uh, how do you convert a standard user to a restricted user right all you have to do this you just go and revoke these three uh, authorization server okay from the standard user you remove the public role you remove the privilege to create uh, any on its own schema and then disable the client connect okay so let's see how to do that okay so before we start doing it we saw odbc jdbc was enabled and then public role was assigned and then object for creating its own uh, objects and the user id schema was also given okay now let so to revoke or if, uh, to convert a standard user to a st uh, standard user to a restricted user you have to revoke those these three uh, authorizations okay uh, privileges or whatever you want to call it so revoke user from the user a restrict user the role public okay so let's go and do this okay so okay that's my, my bad this was not right so alter user okay so instead of grant here you say revoke okay let's see this okay the public okay let's check this out so 
is on a public grant if you refresh this public is gone okay now you need to remove the schema right the schema uh, create any on the on its own schema so you just say alter user user id and then say revoke Okay, so you're revoking the create any privilege on the user's own schema. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so if it's successfully executed, let's go and see object privilege. Okay, see what happens here. Refresh, the object privilege is also gone. Okay, now the third step is to disable the odbc gdbc access okay now alter user enable client connect right so to disable access to odbc gdbc you just say alter user user id disable client connect okay successfully done now let us go and refresh the screen for the user and it is done okay now see this user is a restricted user now okay now let's see if i'm able to log in with that user id now again okay so i'm going to say add system with a different user and say restrict user and the password okay and finish see now i cannot log in with that user id because now this has become a restricted user okay so the moment these three are not there the, you know with a dis this disable odbc GDB, gdbc access is set and then the user is does not have the public role and does not have its own schema okay with these three characteristics the user id becomes a uh, restricted user so these are the three statements right alter user revoke or uh, grant revoke role public grant revoke create any on own schema and disable uh, enable disable client connect with this you can convert a restricted user to a standard user and a standard user to a restricted user okay